speaking of which, if we're going to move on from Mando, hang on, let me type this up. Uh, Again. Uh, I am sorry about that. I just, I, I just assumed those were for last week. So, I wrote this one up this week. Apparently, there is going to be a Stranger Things animated show in under the category of milking things to death. Obviously, Stranger Things has been an absolutely massive hit for Netflix. They have had, you know, literally millions and millions of people watching the show and everything else, but it is coming to an end at the end of season five. Uh, the Doofer Brothers, who originally created it, have come up with... I've just got to remind myself, because, because it doesn't just stop with an animated show, but I think they are also doing a stage production and another live-action show, which is a spin-off, but nothing to do with the original characters. Because, like I say, you can't leave these things alone. Something good's come out, and we all love it, so obviously we've now got to milk it to death and squeeze every little thing that we can out of I, it. I feel like IPs are like the new gold rushes, right? It's like when we had yeah. the gold rush in California, right? Just everybody just streamed out there and just... and strip the area dry of gold as quickly as they could. I feel like that's what IPs yep. are anymore. It, you can't just make an original good movie now because it's got to become a franchise. You know, the whole screen thing, Friday, the, you know, there are so many franchises which have just gone on fast and furious. And now it seems when there is something original and good, like Stranger Things, which, you know, was it, it's a great show. It's got its faults, but it's a great show. But now it's kind of, right, we only wrote five series and we're going to finish those five series. Netflix are going, yeah, no, 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 but we're making like tons of money out of this, so we're going to have to find something to to drag it out. Um, I've just found that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The, one of the producers who's looking at doing the animation is a guy called Eric Robles, who is known for producing Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur which I've never heard of, but I looked it up and the animation for it is, un is very, very kiddish. Very, very sort of basic for like Saturday morning kids, about the 10 year old mark, I would have said. So they're going to do a strange things with that, with Vecna <laughs> obviously t possessing the souls of people and ripping them apart and stuff. Well, let me. <laughs> That's going to. Let, let me irritate you some more. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, I used to read, I, I had, I may still have it actually, a uh, devil dinosaur. Book. It was a Jack Kirby. Okay. Um, okay. One of the one of the last Jack Kirby ones in the seventies, and it was with Devil Dinosaur and Moon Boy. Moon Boy was like a caveman. He was he was covered in hair and fur almost. Um, so it was supposed to be way back when. But for whatever reason, I don't I don't remember the the origins or anything. But the Devil Dinosaur and Moon Boy would go around on adventures and Devil's Dinosaur would protect him. And they were friends. And he was a big red Tyrannosaurus Rex as opposed to the rest of the dinosaurs which were regular color. That's why I called him Devil Dinosaur. Because they knew about the like devils way back <laughs> yeah, before yeah. Christianity. But okay, <laughs> fine. Might as well call uh, him Santa Claus Dinosaur. <laughs> but clearly... They went woke, and that's why you have the show Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl now. Yeah, that's the only that's that's that, that's they they gender swapped something that nobody knew the fuck about, other than <laughs> weirdos like me, and it was clearly just done to hey we have this property in Marvel let's do this a Disney bullshit and and we'll make it gender swap because. That's what Why not? We, That's how we do things here at Disney. That's that's how the young people are being raised these days. <laughs> they're they're being raised to be gender swapped, uh, no matter what the situation. Yeah. They want to um, they want to do all this girl power, but then they make the girls turn into boys. <laughs> have a bit. Of, I don't understand the anything anymore. Thing now. Yeah. I like the fact that um, women are so bad at being women that men have got to be women to show them how it's done. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, animated productions are much cheaper, obviously, to produce than the live-action thing. And, I mean, especially now, scenes like Billy Bobby Brown and uh, what's his name? Wolf. I can't think of his name Blitzer. now. But, you know, yeah, you know, they've all they've all gone on to other things now because they're all famous. Obviously, all of a sudden, they're sort of like, oh, you want us to come back? Well, this is going to cost you. <laughs> you know? Um, and so doing an animated show where somebody's impersonating the voice, there we go. 
that's a hell of a thing as an actor, right? You could do like nothing, except you were on this one show that has this huge, incredible cult, cult, uh, makes following you, and everything. Makes, and makes say you you're think always. Of, um, I was going to say, it makes you think of Galaxy Quest. <laughs> yeah. Almost. <laughs> I, I call it the Marina Sirtis effect. Uh, <laughs> so. um, yeah, there you go. Look. Um, Selick has also said, uh, yeah, the original IP gets watered down and outright destroyed. And I've said this time and time again, the more you add to something, the less special it becomes. Yeah. And my, my my example of this is I love banoffee pie. I don't know if you get banoffee pie over there. It's bananas with toffee and cream and on a on a biscuit layer. It's one of the most beautiful things in the world. If I went to a restaurant and ordered banoffee pie and they brought me out a nice bowl for and I ate it and enjoyed it, and then they brought out another bowl full, I'd think, ah, jackpot, happy days. But after like you know the fifth or sixth bowl full, I would be going a little bit bored of banoffee pie now. I'm 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 going to get a little bit sick of it to be perfectly honest. And this is what Disney and all the other companies are doing. They just keep giving you the same thing and, and, and watering it down and adding to it and deconstructing characters and, and giving you prequels and explaining stuff. And it just becomes less and less special every time they do it. No, I agree. I mean, I like, you know, I don't I don't really begrudge Stranger Things for four seasons, five seasons, whatever. I mean, you know, the original Star Trek had seven seasons and 200 episodes and I mean that's fine but yeah it, th I think part of the problem is is that those older shows you know you would have 24 26 episodes a season right and not just Star yeah. Trek I mean yeah all the shows they were that that much yeah, yeah. and but but every episode was its own little story beginning middle and hmm. end and maybe there were some through lines that, that happened and the characters grew or something would change that would change from then on out. But now they make our, you know, giant movies. They make, I mean, as much as I love Picard season three, it's just a big giant movie. And you could, you could say a trilogy. You could conceivably say a trilogy. Uh, two four hour movies and one two hour movie. And but the point is, is that that's that's how they do it now. It's just they make these giant shows that are nothing but movies. And I was listening to call me Chapo, you know, the former ne yeah. network executive. And he's saying that this is, or or maybe it was, it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Um, but they were saying that you know Netflix, unfortunately, has gone into cancel mode. So they. <laughs> That's a problem when you make a show yeah. that is a big giant movie, and then you leave it on a cliffhanger, and then they cancel it, right? So they never g get to be anything because nobody's going to waste their time with the reruns. It's not going to find a cult following because everybody knows it's like it's just going to end on a cliffhanger and they're not going to watch it. Give Firefly credit; they had yes, they had a through line, but it had individual yeah. episodes, individual stories, and it became a long-lasting cult classic that went on forever. Same with the original Star Trek and many others. They have a chance to gain a following and gain an audience because, even though you wish there was more, because it got canceled early, you don't feel like you can't be satisfied with what you got. You can't yeah. be satisfied with Jupiter Ascending, and there's nothing there. It, it, it ends, and I don't know what. <laughs> so I have no um, no desire to revisit it. There's no point. Anonymous, who says uh, that he lost interest in Stranger Things after the first season. Also, Millie Bobby Brown is a subpar actor. I will give her credit that she. I do think she's actually quite good in the series. I do think she's she's genuinely quite good. That is to do, I think, with the rest of the cast, the direction, and everything else. The series itself has been very good. All four seasons have been very good to excellent all the way through they've you know they've really nailed it um but again it's kind of like like you were just saying the problem with it is is you can't watch a single episode by itself because if you missed season two episode three where so and so and so and so happened you're not going to understand what happens in season three episode seven you know and it's like you say they've got these arcs that sort of go across the whole thing that they're not just episodic episodes anymore they're like like you say they're a whole feature film of like literally nine hours long which you've got to watch the whole thing to understand the whole the whole premise of it all 
Well, and Stranger Things is even worse about it because they've gotten to where it's like, at least with Picard, every episode's an hour. It's an hour. 60 minutes, yeah. whatever it is. 55 minutes, whatever it is. With Stranger Things, it might be an hour. It might be an hour 20. I think the last episode was three and a half hours long. And next season, each episode will be a week long. I don't know. It's just like, yeah. guys, come on. Uh, you know, you, you're blurring the lines between feature film and show so much. And the worst part about it is, is that because they feel like they have to do it this way, this is why you get so many shows that are paced terribly and have so much padding yeah. and unnecessary nonsense in it. You gotta, you guys gotta stop this. You got I think the reason why something like the Next Generation, and even the original Star Trek, and some of these older shows resonate and continue on for so long is because they had to make these episodes good stories within 45 minutes if you include you know yeah. check out the commercials so you had to know how to do tight storytelling it's it's the same thing that uh red letter media said about why the original star wars works so more so well art through adversity you know you mm. are limited by the medium you are limited by the time you are limited by uh the, yeah. the runtime so you you have to make things work within that and it it makes you a better storyteller but now they can just do whatever they want because you're streaming it it's the same thing with cgi right you don't put everything you want on the screen so nobody yeah. gives a damn all of yeah. this is has we, just terribly destroyed storytelling and and all this yeah it's a shame um yeah, it's a shame. Like I say, uh, I am looking forward to season five of Stranger Things. I think it's going to be good. A stage play, I'm not interested in. If they do a live action spin off, again, if the Doofa Brothers are involved, I would give it a go at least. But like I say, this animated show, not interested. Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or six o'clock UK time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.